start of day two of this little three video series. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is, you know, the event that I was at yesterday that were that I was doing the video at. Um, it was a three day event that I got hired, but I ended up having another client kind of had a conflict and the other client had a, a engagement that I needed to be at today. So, you know, right away, normally I would get all frustrated and flustered and be like, oh, you know, I committed to, to two things and I'm not able to make it to both of them. But, um, it's all about being resourceful, you know? So instead of just saying, I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't be at both places at one time, you know, I was just like, okay, I just said yes to everything. I committed and then I just figured it out down the road. I figured it out a couple of days later, you know? Um, reminding yourself that you're resourceful and that you can figure things out as long as you put in the work is, is very important. So I just uh, basically subcontracted out the the second, well, the, um, the initial work today for a friend to a friend and all is well and I was able to do everything so that's one important thing remember that you're resourceful and that you can say yes to everything and you can ask for help and you can lean into other people and you can't do everything by yourself um, and then this other this job that I'm on my way to now um, so I have two jobs today. One is a speaking engagement um, with a client um, at a big conference. And then this one is some marketing material that we're doing for a financial planner. And that's another reason, you know, in a few videos back, I talked about, you know, ensuring that your, your Google listings and all that are up to date and that your website is all connected to everything and then it's up to date. And this client had found me through Google My Business, uh, landed on my website, and they saw the video that I had on top of my my homepage, my banner, which I just redid this year. You know, which is important to keep, to stay up to date. You know, you have to invest in in your your websites, your your businesses, you know, digital calling card. So, um, they saw that they were immediately intrigued. They called me, picked up the phone, called me. Um, and, uh, it, it ended up being not only a sizable job for myself, but then a referral for my buddy who, um, Danny at D squared media who has a web design firm. So they reached out to me. They were like, Oh, we want, we need f photos and videos. And, you know, we just want to make our website feel more organic, more natural. And we also need the website done. So not only was it a sizable, great job for me, they're incredible people. Um, I, I This is a type of client that I will probably work with on multiple occasions, on multiple jobs. I can just sense that energy. Um, and then my buddy got a, a full, you know, website design job out of it as well. So, and these are all local people, right, right in the immediate area. Um, and that's why it's so important to have your, your Google listings and your websites and everything up to date and looking mint because one job, one job can pay for the entire website, can pay for the entire marketing, you know, budget for the month or whatever it is. You know, I'm not running any paid ads or anything like that, but as long as your systems are in place and your website and your Google My Business listing is up to date and everything looks good, you know, those are things that you put energy into that are going to give you a return. So um, we actually, for this photo shoot here for the financial planner, um, I didn't have... You know they don't they didn't have an office that they were interested in, in shooting in so reached out again to somebody locally who has a studio here um, so we're going to be at the studio we rented the studio for two hours we're gonna do headshots and branding work um, and kind of like a, um, a client a client um, consultation reenactment uh, and I got a couple models to come too and that's another thing like I had never really um, I had never really they were like oh we need you know someone who's in their you know 50s or 60s, um, you know, to come to to be a model and be an extra in the photo shoot, and and I had never, you know, like as a filmmaker and a photographer, you know, like I normally would just ask friends or some people to come if if people needed extras for, 
for a photo shoot. But because again, back to the original point of being resourceful, I was like, okay, well I have, I'm in all these Facebook groups about filming in Florida and freelance this and that. I literally made one post, one post. And within 20 minutes, I had two models, one male, one female, exactly what I needed committed to coming to the space to help with the job to, to tie this thing up with a bow. It's just such a beautiful thing when you you commit and you say, I can get it done and you believe in yourself and you just take these little steps and you be resourceful, you're capable of a lot more than you think you are. Let's get into the job. All right. I've never been to this spot before. It's really cool. It's called Kana House Studios. It's like 85 bucks an hour. Easy peasy. Got some cameras, some strobes, need some light stands. Soft box. So I'm trying not to make these videos so like gear centered, less about gear, more about my process. But if you have any questions about any of the gear that I'm using or anything that you see in any of the videos, just drop it in the comments below and I'll, you know, I could chat about hours and hours for about gear. So here I am on the inside of the rented production space, just getting my camera out and setting up a off-camera flash right here. This is the Godox AD200 Pro. And then I'm just throwing a little, I have a little Bowens mount holder for the flash. And then this is a soft box here and it's just going on a spreader stand. This is a great, great setup for off-camera flash. Because a lot of times you need a space for a job, but you don't, necessarily have exactly what you need you know there's resources out here like this that are honestly cheaper than you think they would be i mean 85 dollars an hour for this space and you can move things around and do whatever you like um and of course you can just always just book this into the or bake it into the the cost of the job such a cool space so what i'm thinking <clears throat> we need to do headshots for four people. So I kind of like this, this area right over here, natural light from the window coming in. They can kind of lean or sit in these chairs. And then we have this greenery and gray background that I think will look really nice. Um, and we can move the plants or keep them there depending upon how it all looks. I think this would be perfect for headshots. Here I am starting the headshots with uh, one of the clients and just kind of having them stand up to the thing, see what looks good, having them kind of lean, stand up, cross their arms, just try different things. Headshots are challenging. Um, it's all about getting the person to feel comfortable, not only with you, but with being in front of the camera. So I'm kind of directing her where to look. I'm taking some portrait, some landscape orientation. You can see there the Godox light is, is, uh, is triggering. This spot I liked because the Godox flash was kind of just filling in the shadows and the, the majority of the light, or I guess you would say the key light here is that window there. You can see the nice source of natural light coming in through the window. This next part was basically re reenacting a consultation. Um, so these were the some actors that we had and then the, the client here. And we are just uh, roaming around, taking photos and having them talk to each other, you know, act like it's actually a consultation. That was one of the most important things is that, you know, they need to just pretend like I'm not there and they need to talk to each other and they need to interact with one another and make it natural and use hand motions and laugh and smile and have fun uh, because these are production photos that are going to be these are photos that are going to be put on their website. So we want them to look happy and 
look like um, it's a real consultation. All right, so on to the next session of the day. I got my man here, my executive producer, Anthony. He's on scene. I hold the tripod. <laughs> the Health Hybrid Summit in Fort Lauderdale. So this is the second part of the day. I'm um, here with Nick right here. So we're doing some content. Uh, he's speaking at 1 o'clock in about 30 minutes. So we're going to do like a full, um, basically... Yeah, capturing his entire speech and then we'll get some secondary footage you know here and there um to do a little youtube video so this is gonna be amazing the reason why i say that is because nick is a transformational speaker so if you have never heard a transformational speaker before you should go follow nick watch some of his videos maybe come see him speak it could change your life so I met Nick a few months ago through a mutual friend. Um, he was looking for someone to do some video content for him. Um, and it took us about six or seven months of working together to get into a consistent and rhythmic flow. Um, now I do monthly content for Nick. And when he speaks, I go with him to events. We do weekly content sessions at his house. Um, whatever it takes to get him omnipresent on all platforms so we do content for instagram we do content for facebook youtube um and tiktok and this day we were you know doing some short form stuff but also the main focus was doing one long form youtube video that we can show what it was like in a day in a life following nick when he is at a speaking engagement So here I am getting the camera set up in the back of the auditorium to get uh, his speech captured. I have a lav mic on him. And then I'm just using the FX3 and a 7200 for the little monitor on top. So that way I can uh, get a clear view. Who's ready to take the next step? Say try. try. Coming out of lunch, university and Fortune 500. Nick has been one of the biggest speaking inspirations in my entire life. He was so great to stop everything he was doing to make it happen last second to come here. And out of the 12, eight of them have passed away due to undeveloped organs. Like any other 12-year-old, Nick Santanastasa enjoys football, skateboarding, and playing video games. And while these may sound like simple everyday activities, for Nick, they are anything else. He is one boy. How much you eat? Mm. third and final thing, which one of the most difficult things, but we can't control it, is the people that we surround ourselves with on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, I know you've heard this before, but have you really evaluated your circle? Because the truth is, it's probably your closest family and friends that don't understand why you're here today. What kind of Kool-Aid are you drinking? Why are you paying all that money to travel and take notes and listen to people? What are you doing? Sometimes it's your closest family and friends that don't understand your levels. I'm just making you aware so you can find out where you are and where you want to move to. The third level of value is what we call communicators. Is there any communicators in here? Show of hands. Now you don't know you're a communicator, but how many of you talk to people, and if you talk to people, they give you money? Show of hands. There you go. I'm a communicator. Now a communicator are people who make money with their mouth, make money when they talk. These are coaches, these are teachers, these are salespeople, these are actors, these are musicians, and you could probably make maybe one or two million dollars as a communicator. You're still trading time for money, but you can go around and you can speak and make a bunch of money. And I love that. But the highest level of value, someone say the highest. The highest level of value, the fourth level of value, is what we call imaginators. What is an imaginator? Imaginator, whether you like them or not. So just wrapped up the job in Fort Lauderdale. This is gonna be the end of the second video of my little three video series. Um, so yeah, I put some clips in of the event, like that event was really cool to work at, but also be a part of because Nick is a transformational speaker. So every time I'm doing content for him and listening to him and just, you know, being a part of the experience, not only like ca capturing it to, to provide him with what he needs, but then also participating in the, in the journey of going through the transformational process of his 
um, I guess you can call it a keynote or a presentation. It's just really moving, very inspirational. Um, and every time I leave something like that, I feel a lot better about my life and where I'm at. And um, it's just a win-win. Good content and feeling good about life. So that's gonna be it for this video. Um, yeah, see you tomorrow. Peace.